Fashion is very, it's, it's transformative and I, I want to feel like I can have anything I want for whatever, whatever reason it is and I, I want to feel like the world is a possibility. Well, I grew up in the suburbs um, in the Midwest and I just, I always love to read and I often read fairy tales. So, you know, like about princesses and fairies. And so I was reading this book recently. It's actually one of my favorite books. It's called um, The Elegance of the Hedgehog and it's a very um, sort of like philosophical book but the woman says something to the extent that the proof of existence is beauty and the very state of our existence is art and it's something that just resonates with me. Well I identify with her a lot because well, I think I have a bit of her precociousness. She's a very, she's smart. She's kind of like beyond her age. I, I sometimes feel like I, I act and not act, but sort of think, look at the world in a way that might be younger than I really am. Like the late '90s, early 2000s were a very influential part of time for me in fashion. I think it's good to have something that's a bit off with your outfit because it, it gives it visual interest, people stop and they look at it and yeah and I think it's, it's also this, this scarf that I have now decided to wear as a hat mm -hmm. and I, I, I wear this sort of outfit a lot. Um, I like this because it's very whimsical, I like the ruffles and I like the mix of the patterns. But I, I love these two, they're kind of like my teddy bear earmuffs. And I love this bag because it has awesome. little tails on it. I become obsessed with things and I, I just, when I love something I want to incorporate it into everything that I'm wearing. But I love them because they have the, you know, the rosette in the front. But they also, what I just love is this, uh, this is platform. Mm. I go to London, I go to Paris, and this is an outfit that I would probably wear more when I'm traveling to certain places like London or to New York. I actually wear all the shoes that I buy. I like to just have them and look at them. I do that with clothes too. So sometimes I'm buying clothes that are a bit too large and I don't want to get it tailored because it'll ruin, ruin the piece. I wish I lived in the pages of a fashion magazine. I really do because it's just that one perfect moment captured in time. What sets people apart from you know, animals is that our ability to create and to create something beautiful. So otherwise, I mean, I don't, I don't see a purpose of living if it's not to, it's not to create and not to create beautiful things.